pipelines uh, from a classification standpoint fit into the midstream industry. And so in my consulting business, uh, many times people call me and say, we want to talk about the midstream business. And so I ask them, which midstream business do you want to talk about? Because there are different subcomponents. And whenever I break down the midstream business, the first break I make is between onshore and offshore. So we have onshore pipelines, and we have offshore pipelines. They obey the same laws of physics. Uh, and you operated them a lot the same way, but because the offshore pipelines are in deep water and they're harder to access, uh, it's really a different industry than the onshore pipeline. So to, in this course, we're going to be talking about the onshore pipeline uh, industry, although many of the things also apply to the offshore pipeline industry. So that's first break. Second break that I make is between regulated and unregulated. So you see on the left, we have the regulated lines. And these are regulated with respect to economics, is this division of regulation, regulated versus unregulated that I make. So they're regulated generally by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission or by local uh, and state um, utility or public service commissions. So we have distribution lines, transmission lines, and gathering lines, oil and gas, as you can see. On the unregulated side, so this is unregulated with respect to uh, economics, we have the gas plants, some gathering lines, a crude oil trucking, and then storage terminals. And so storage terminals may or may not be used uh, and integral into the pipeline process. So you may have some storage facilities that are included in the pipeline tariff, and you may have some storage facilities that are separate from the pipeline tariff. The reason that I make this distinction between regulated and unregulated is because from an economic standpoint, trying to understand the businesses, they're different. Uh, many of the same safety regulations, though, apply across the midstream industry. So what is midstream anyway? And it's broken down to those various uh, constituents.